Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Onos, and today we're going to go over some information on Soul Course. Honestly, I was in two minds about doing this video. The reason for that is that, well, I don't have a final answer, a final guide on this is exactly what you should do. You need to have a lot more testing to cover all the variables. However, I realized that by agonizing over it, I was withholding potentially useful information. So I thought, screw it, we'll just get it out there and I'm sure you guys will comment on your findings. So, to cut to the point, and some of you may already know this. Did you know that you can level up soul cores? And I don't mean the soul core rank from one to nine. I'm assuming that's common knowledge that you can fuse soul cores together to get a slightly more powerful version for yourself and it caps at rank nine. What I mean is the actual level of your soul core. So let's say for example, that you have a few hundred soul cores in the bank. You've kept some since your first playthrough and never really done anything with them. Now you're at the end game and you might think, Damn, that soul core would have been perfect for my new build. It's got the perfect attributes on it. Shame it's only level 80. Some people might not care about that. Maybe you're already using a level 80 soul core because the attributes are perfect and you don't want to fight the RNG demons for another one with just the right attributes on it. If that's the case, then you'll be losing out on some defense and attack, which would drive some of us nuts knowing we're not maxed out. Well, the reality is you can level them up. Now this is where the video gets a little bit ropey. I haven't got enough testing done to give you straight up factual numbers and provide you with the optimal way to do this. But I know the following things which may help. If you go to the Soul Fusion option in the Manage Soul Cores menu, find your low level Soul Core, now match it with a 160. You'll see its level go up. You can see in the footage here as I scroll through my matching options, the level my target Soul Core comes out at changes. I'll come to the details on that in a moment. Now, when levelling up a low level soul core, the jumps in level will be fairly substantial. The jump I'm making in this example is from level 98 to level 109. I also noticed a weird anomaly. If you see the footage right here, when trying to match my soul core against a 160 with an inheritable on it, I seem to get no additional levels. Weird. I haven't got to the bottom of that one yet. Anyway, back to the script. Diminishing returns begin to kick in the higher you get. I'll talk about that more in a moment. So, I know that the rank of the soul core you're using as fuel, i.e. the one you're going to sacrifice, the rank of that soul core does have an effect on how many levels you get. You get more levels out of the higher rank sacrifices. If you soul fuse a rank 9 instead of a rank 1 into your low level soul core, I know that you get more levels out of it. However, I can't right now tell you from my own experience if it's more efficient to level using rank 9s or rank 1s or somewhere in the middle. Again, there are a lot of factors in play. It seems like the evidence suggests that using a rank 9 soul core to level up is more efficient, but I can't categorically say that's the case without more testing. I can tell you though that as your ideal soul core gets higher in level, the amount of levels you will get from soul fusing will begin to drop. It seems that the soft cap for this is grinding up to a level of 159. I tested this myself. If I'm honest, once I found out you could level them up, I was testing to see if I could push the soul core past the 160 mark if I had enough to put into it. Unfortunately, I capped out at 159 and ran out of soul cores to fuse with. I tried combining soul cores and then matching multiple rank 9s to my 159 soul core, but it didn't make a difference. I suspect there is a way to get to 160, but the effort might not be worth it. One tip I can give you while you're doing this process though, when you start to see massive diminishing returns, when you're close to the top end of your fusing, what you might notice is when you try to fuse just one soul core, nothing happens. The game shows you no difference in the level of your target soul core. What you can do is select multiple soul cores at a time to fuse into your soul core. I know a lot of you know this, but I'll say it anyway. I'm coming to my point. You can press the triangle button to select multiple soul cores. Now what you'll notice is that it still doesn't make a difference on the preview. However, if you click X to jump out to the confirmation screen where you actually press the button to soul fuse, that's where you'll see the difference in level. So looking at the footage here, you can see my soul core level is 156. By matching one level 160 with it, it brings me to 157 on preview. But notice when I select multiple soul cores, the preview doesn't change. Now see what happens when I go to actually fuse it. The level it gave me was up to 158. I noticed that when I looked at the preview at higher levels, I wouldn't see a difference when trying to fuse multiple cores. But when you jump out, you can see the increase in level there. Okay, so to sum up, the key takeaways from this one are, you can level up your old soul cores. 
There seems to be a soft cap at level 159, where it feels like there is no value in grinding past that right now. In the DLC, if the level of soul cores increases, this will be very handy for you if you already have the perfect soul core and you don't want to leave it at a lower level. Hope you found the video useful guys, leave me a comment with your findings. If you have anything to add, it could be really valuable information as my testing on this is far from complete. Please like and comment as it plays a huge part in helping the channel to grow. Sub if you're new and I'll wrap it up there. Thank you again for joining me. Take it easy guys, stay safe, bye bye now.